Well, good evening, folks. This uh, video is in response to a few emails I've had over the last week or so uh, from people all over the world, actually, saying, what's this about your cables? What's this about the relocation of the rectifier? And, you know, why should I do it? And so on. This picture was sent to me um, kindly by Philip, thank you, and it shows the rectifier regulator in its stock position under the bike. Now, you can see from that it's covered in filth. The, um, the fins will probably get blocked very shortly. And there's a shiny bit on the bitumen type black gunge on the back of the rectifier, which is shiny. You can see there, it's kind of shiny looking. Um, I believe this is due to heat. I may be wrong, but it looks a bit weird to me that it's clean and shiny when around it isn't. And the area is covered by the cooling fins at the front. So here is a, a photo of the Hartley Premium kit that I make and send out worldwide. Um, you don't have to have the rectifier, so you can buy the kit without the rectifier, um, and you get the extension cables, which are plug and play, so you just plug them in and that's it. And you can relocate the rectifier to either under the lower steering yoke, or triple tree, as uh, um, cousins across the pond call it. Um, I send out both sets of brackets, so you can mount it underneath the oil cooler, with stainless steel fasteners. So, this is not a sales video, I don't care, you can either buy it or you don't, but it's just to illustrate that the stock location of the RR unit is about the daftest place I can think of to mount an air-cooled, finned electrical component. So, these RRs are crying out for help across the globe. This next picture shows the rectifier regulator mounted underneath the lower steering yoke. Now this has been on my bike now for 18 months and uh, there's no damage to the wires, there's no cracking, nothing. And at the end of a long run, it's, it's cool. It's actually physically cool to the touch. This next picture shows the extension cables and how they connect under the bike or at the front of the bike. So I send out videos with the kits and say, here's what you do, here's how you, uh, you know, do the connectors and so on, just to facilitate relocation, really. So I'll send that picture out um, along with some video links to people all over the world that have done this mod. Um, this next photo shows the rectifier relocated to under the lower steering yoke. You can see the stainless steel Allen bolts there. A simple but, you know, 100% effective and virtually invisible alloy um, bar that it's mounted onto. This next photo shows <coughs> the RR unit mounted underneath the oil cooler. Now this is where Royal Enfield put the rectifier regulator on their new 650 Bear, um, you know, which is a sensible thing to do. There's another pic of it, look. And that's exactly where Royal Enfield put it now. They didn't do it on the GT, and they didn't do it on the Interceptor, and I believe they still don't, actually. I get hundreds of emails, and I'm not exaggerating, about this. So there's another shot under the uh, steering yoke. <clears throat> you can see the stainless fasteners, the simple bracket, you know, that's it. They, it uses existing threaded holes in both instances actually, in, in terms of the oil cooler or the steering yoke, that it's using pre-existing threaded holes. And finally, here is my little baby. Look at that. That is Tangerine Dream. The seat cowl, I've got the original seat as well. Um, side panels painted, decals under the lacquer, um, little steering, you know, uh, 
headlamp fairing thing. So that's my baby. And that has been, well, my rectifier has been on now for 18 months. So I just thought I'd post this <clears throat> because, as I say, I don't know, not everybody watches all my videos, and I get that because you probably fall asleep or die before you, you know, die of boredom. But um, I've had messages saying, you know, why do people do this? Why do they do, well, I've covered it in previous videos, but I get it, you know, you're not going to watch all of my prating, so there it is, a quick explanation, <clears throat> and uh, my email address is in the video description, so if you want to, want to, you know, get in touch, feel free to email me. In the meantime, take care of your bikes, watch out for, you know, all of those hazards, heavens above and take care. Bye for now.